the big boy air guns. Today what we're going to do is demonstrate how to use one of these cheaper high pressure air compressors that you can find on eBay on the Air Force Texan air rifle. We're going to use that today to refill the rifle back up to working pressure which is about 3000 psi. Let me give you some advice. Make sure you get the one that actually has writing on the side of it. Now I've blanked out the name for YouTube reasons, but make sure it has writing on the side of it. There's another one that doesn't have any writing on it. That's a knockoff and it won't work. I had to return two of those. Whereas this one with the actual company name on it has worked for quite a long time and works really, really well. Some of the things that this will come with is this. Is you need to get a little thermostat with it. Now I don't have the batteries. I'm gonna have to go get some. That's gonna fit down inside of that hole right there in the case. You're gonna feed the wire down through the hole in the case and it'll come out right here on the edge. In the back of the second stage, the upper piston here of the compressor, there's a little hole in there. You can stick the end of that probe wire from your thermostat inside of that hole, and that'll give you a nice accurate temperature reading on the face of this once the battery's in there and it's installed. That way you don't overheat these. Really crucial to keep the temperature down on these two-stage cheaper air compressors. Some of the other things you're gonna get with your kit for these compressors is this. You're gonna get two pieces of hose, tubing that are gonna go down to a really cheap little water pump for uh, basically their fish tank water pump. You're gonna plug that in, that's gonna cycle cool water through the second stage of the compressor, keeping that cold. Otherwise the thing would just seize up. These get really, really hot real fast. One of the things about keeping these things running for a long period of time, especially the cheaper versions, is don't overheat them, don't run them too long, run them for a small period of time. If you start feeling the water in your container getting too warm, turn the thing off, switch over your water back to cool water. If you take good care of them, change the oil, and keep them cool, these things will last for quite a long time. One of the next things you're going to need just before we fire up is you're going to need that container here full of cool water. That's where the pump's going to go. You're going to take the piece here that hooks to the pump. You're going to set that right down inside of it. We're going to drop the pump right inside of the tank there. And then we're also going to take the return tube out of the compressor. We're going to put that right back in the tank. So it's just cycling the water out of the little water jug into the upper stage and then back down and then keeping it cool. To hook these rifles up, they give you a little quick connect fitting here. And that's going to hook right up to the little nipple right here on the Air Force Texan. If I can give you an angle to that, that's going to hook right up to that. Once it gets up to the pressure that's already in the tank, you're going to hear the valve in there click open and it'll start to fill it up. Now the nice thing about the Texan is that it already has an air gauge for itself on the tank so I can measure the air pressure in the tank exactly. Although the compressor has a gauge here on the compressor itself, that bounce is just a little too much to get a perfect reading on it. Whereas this one's going to stay nice and steady and give you a precise reading. On the compressor itself, there are two valves. One over here on this side, it's just a turn knob valve. And one over here on this side. And the side with the compressor on this version is your high pressure side. So we have a low pressure valve and a high pressure valve. And there's a sequence to how you close and open these to make sure that it runs properly and fills your gun. The first thing you're going to do is make sure that both of the valves are open. You're going to turn on the machine. You're going to close the low pressure valve first. Then you're going to come over and you're going to turn the high pressure valve closed just like that. The second you do, you're going to start seeing the gauge lift up. It's going to start building pressure. Now, once you get the gun all the way to pressure, you're going to go just in reverse to stop this. Before you turn the machine off, you got to relief the pressure so that the valve closes back on the tank again. And to do that, you're going to come over to your high pressure valve. You're going to turn that. You're going to hear it blow off. That's going to close the valve. Then you come over here. You turn your low pressure valve open. Then you shut off the machine. This sequence is pretty crucial to make sure that the machine runs properly and that it fills your gun properly. You don't mess it up. Hopefully this will give you a good shot of everything that's going on. I've now put the water pump down inside of our water container. The return line's feeding. I checked that just to make sure because you don't want to run these things dry. They will fail on you. The next step here is to go ahead and hook the quick connection fitting up to the Air Force Texan. Right up to that nipple there. Make sure it's got a good connection to it. Next what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on this machine. There's a process to this and order in which you have to do it like I showed you earlier. This is our low pressure valve over here, so once again, I'm just going to make sure both valves are open. I'm going to put my hand on the low pressure valve, turn on the machine. Turn the low pressure valve closed, close the high pressure valve, and then all of a sudden you're going to see the meter start to rise. And myself, I'm going to watch the valve and the gauge on my Air Force Texan rifle. Wait until it hits 3,000 PSI. Turn off the machine. There you go. 
So it's once again, it's high pressure, low pressure, turn off the machine. We are now ready to disconnect the quick connection fitting here from our rifle, put the cap back over our nipple there. And now our Air Force Texan rifle is ready to go, our pressure's filled. That's how quick and easy it really is to use one of these air compressors. They can present some challenges if they lock up or vapor lock on you, you can just turn them off, bleed them out by opening one of these up, let the air out of the uh, check valve that's in there if you have any issues. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Big Boar Air Gun.